shake her off. Come over and I'll scream. I'm a burning effigy of everything I used to be. You're my rock of empathy, my dear. So come out and let me continue. Morning, Martin. Morning, Georgie. How was your weekend, Pat? Oh, it was lovely, thank you. Michaela had a school diving competition. Did she sink like a stone to the bottom of the pool? <laughs> or is her childhood obesity under control? <laughs> Actually, she won first prize. Hey, I'm that pleased for you. <laughs> Can I borrow your nice solar-powered calculator? Yeah, sure. I'll tell you what it is. Me and some of the other girls down at the Jarrow Quaker Jazz Club <laughs> are doing a little sponsored event. Oh, what's this one for? We're treading water through the night in the Great North Canal. For all the little alcoholics in Jarrow and its surrounding environs. Oh, that, that is a big problem, isn't it? Aye, it is. Did you know that every 38 minutes, an otherwise upstanding member of the community pops out to buy a newspaper and rolls back a week later, stark bollock naked and covered in tattoos? <laughs> every 38 minutes? If you don't believe me, log on to the website www.afootinlovew.co.uk <laughs> forward slash of I told you I fucking love you. <laughs> How much shall I put you down for? Uh, uh, let's say 20p an hour. £2.40? To spend 12 hours bobbing up and down in a freezing cold canal? Full of dead fish, condoms, and shite. In that case, I'll up it to 30p an hour. £3.60. For all those brave little single mums who can't afford to feed the family because they've spunked the housekeeping on diamond white. <laughs> OK, 35p an hour. I don't think I've got your full attention, Martin. <laughs> Consider, if you will, all those poor little dads who turn up to parents' evening completely twatted <laughs> and end up dancing on the desktop shouting, Oi, Mr. Roberts, look at my knob. I'm sorry, Georgie, it's all I can afford. Four pounds twenty it is, then. It's just that I Let's say no more about it, because I wouldn't want it to come between us. <laughs> Really makes you think, though, doesn't it? Have you been drinking, Martin? Primer. Yeah. Jesus. Okay, what time? Oh, 800. David, what is it? They've hijacked the plane. We've got 20 minutes to inform the chiefs of staff. Chloe, if you get in here, I'm going to need you to send out an urgent email. This is too sensitive, Dave. She's not code red. Scratch that, Chloe. I'll do this myself. Thank you. It's good to have the British with us. OK. To all the chiefs of staff. Well, 400 hours this morning, a unified Union airliner heading from Jakarta to Washington was seized by terrorists. They're demanding that we start to release all political prisoners by 0800 hours, by which time the plane will be over Houston. If we do not acquiesce to these demands, they would explode the aircraft over the city center. This is clearly a matter of the utmost urgency. Oh. What is it? Well, there's no J on this. What? No, no J. There is. <laughs> Mother's in there, Tonya. Won't be two ticks. Locks wonky, so I'm keeping Dixie. Wasn't it a lovely wedding, Uncle Derek? And as for Naomi's frock, dear, a symphony in cream. I wept when I saw those page boys. Not everyone can carry off the munchkin look, but they did her proud. <laughs> Wonder who'll be married next in the family. Could be you, Tonya. You still caught in that, Darren? It'll be two years in June. And no signs of a ring yet, though. Hey, it might be you and Uncle Leonard. 
Oh, my pardon? You and Uncle Leonard, you can now. You know, one of those civil partnerships. What on earth are you insinuating? I'm just saying that you and Uncle Leonard could have a gay wedding. Gay wedding? <laughs> yes, I just thought it might... How very dare you? Oh, I've never heard the likes. I'm sorry, Uncle Derek. Are you not? Gay dear, who dear, me dear, no dear. <laughs> Just because a man minds his P's and Q's and isn't all at sea with a mascara wand, you assume he travels up the chocolate escalator. <laughs> I didn't mean to upset you. 25 years, Mother and I have been putting money in a Christmas card for you. And this is the thanks we get. Marry a man? <laughs> Marry a man? How very, very dare you? <laughs> and I'd avoid a calf length skirt in the future if I were you, dear. Your ankles are too puffy. <laughs> Mother, I'll be in the bath. <laughs> and I'd just like to remind you that on Bank Holiday Monday, it's our annual ramble through the local countryside. The Orange Walk as we like to call it. And no, you don't need to worry. As usual, every precaution has been taken to ensure that we avoid normal members of the public. <laughs> Something wrong, Sandra? I'm sorry, Rita. It's not that I'm not grateful, because I am. But I can't live like this anymore. I'm leaving Russet Lodge. <gasps> you can't, Sandra. Society's not ready. Well, I am. But, Sandra, I am not creeping around the countryside, avoiding normal people. I'm not sweeping myself under the carpet like some kind of leper, and I am not ending up like that. <laughs> so what happened, Linda? Did you have to hack it at yourself with an old pair of kitchen scissors because the hairdressers couldn't fit you in? Yeah. You've as much right to a salon finish as anyone else. <laughs> I like your fringe, Jenny. But what's under the hat? <laughs> Jenny's new, Sandra. That's not fair. Is this fair? Enforced segregation. Hours of basket weaving with nothing to look forward to but a self-esteem <laughs> workshop with Mick Hucknall. <laughs> Ask yourselves, is that fair? Well, not for me. I want to go out there and hold my red head up high, and I will. I know what I am. I am Ginger. <laughs> Ask yourselves, what are you? Right. I am Ginger. I am Ginger. I am Ginger. I am Ginger. Rita, I. I can't. Traffic came to a standstill here in central London when a group of civil rights protesters scaled up onto the roof of a government building to highlight the inequality they believe they suffer at the hands of an unfair society. Today, Prime Minister's question time was interrupted when a condom full of orange powder was thrown at Tony Blair during a discussion on the gingist attacks in South East London. It was later discovered that members of the pressure group Gingers for Justice had infiltrated the House of Commons dressed as ginger nut biscuits. <laughs> Fighting for liberation, a few extra freckles is a small price to pay. I'm sure we're doing the right thing, though. Don't let yourselves down now. Remember, be a ginger, not a winger. <laughs> Maybe we 
Rita was right. Maybe we do belong in Russet Lodge. Maybe that's all we have a right to expect. Don't desert me now. We made our point. Can we go back down? Everyone stay right where you are. The ginger nut is here. This fight has only just begun. Rita! Sandra! <laughs> I knew you wouldn't let us down. Come on, everyone. There's sandwiches and bottles of sunblock in the bag. It's time to stand and be counted. <laughs> Ginger for justice! justice! Ginger for justice! Sorry I'm late. <laughs> you came? Of course. <laughs> And it looks like the protesters are here to stay. It could be a long night for the police force. This is Valky Patel in central London, reporting for News London. A communication has been set up with the terrorists. The code word we have agreed upon is Afghan Cave. It is imperative that any communication with them is preceded by the words Afghan Cave. Otherwise, they will not respond. Hmm. How do you make it do that thing where it goes back? <laughs> morning, Neville. My nerves are in bits. Tough morning. Oh, I'll say. Who was it we had here this morning, Vern? You'd know him, Neville. Two blonde, one dark, one mousy. Not the Chapman twins. <laughs> There's four of them. Funny accents. Like a sing-song. Can't sing. Ever. Oh, Four bigger chavs you never have met. Tell them what they had, Vern. Double jumbo sausage with curry sauce. Big eaters, then. Oh, not much. Agnifa shoved hers down in one. So what were they doing around here, then? Need to look at them show homes on Orpington Crescent. They want to look at them new apartments by the flyover. Much more reasonable. I couldn't be bothered pointing it out to them, Neville. I didn't take to them. But then I always preferred Brotherhood of Man. They made some lovely 45s. What did Abba do? Song about a bloody train station. <laughs> Onions, my lover? Yes, please. And then they all pile back into their camper van and drive off. Good riddance. That's what Vern said. But then Benny reverses right back up to the counter and it all kicked off big styly. Oh, yes? Yeah. I've got Agni for mooning out of the window, Frida waggling her sausage in a most unsavoury fashion, and Bjorn in the front licking curry off his jumpsuit. I don't do that on top of the pops. Any sauce? Uh, no, thanks. Can I sell that with you on Friday? Of course you can, Neville. See you tomorrow. And he's coming here to the house. No, that's fine. I mean, actually, here. No, I'm fine. Right. I'm here to... I'm afraid I've got some bad news. The Land Rover Voyager has gone in for repair. But, Mummy, how shall we get to school? Try not to panic. But it's home economics today, and I'm presenting my scallops wrapped in Bavarian veal. I'm afraid the news gets worse. But how? We're going to have to have a hire car. Hire car? You mean a car that other people have been in? It's being delivered by a man from the garage. Do you mean a... Yes, darling. A mechanic. Morning, darling. I'm from the garage. I've got your courtesy car. Mummy, what's he saying? <laughs> you mean you know harm? Are you all right, love? I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Please put the keys on the floor and leave us in peace. Yeah. Have mercy on us. You would, love. Please don't kill us. Here, look. I'll leave them there. You take it or leave it, all right? There's no DVD in the back seat. And there's no ball bar on the front. What if we have to go off road or to... Highgate Village! It's a death trap! I'll call Daddy! 
We'll have to cancel school for today. Don't run for your lives, children. We're all going to die. <laughs> no deal, no one. No deal. <laughs> Bernie, what are you doing? I was, just, I was just having a little bit of a breather. Are you eating crisps? <laughs> Where are my manners? Would you like to spring an onion? No, I wouldn't. Well, that's just as well, because these are prime cocktails. <laughs> Put them away and get back to work. Bernie's just Bernie, did you write these notes? Yes, sister. All up to date as requested. Why have you written, her new new has come up like a grapefruit? Right, well, I can explain. I spilt some tea on it. See, I had a mad night on the sauce Tuesday night. Come Wednesday morning, I was still a bit shaky on the tea round, and I scalded her new new. So, these are your medical notes. Her new new has come up like a grapefruit. It's even bigger than that now. You want to see it? It's like one of those really big Easter eggs. Plus, she's a nylon nighty, and I think it's aggravated her. But why have you called it her new new? Because that's its name. Do you mean vagina, Bernie? No, see, no, no, I hate that word, sister. I can't bring myself to say it. See, my sister's called Virginia, and I often get the two confused. <laughs> I had a necklace made for her when she was eight with her name on it, but it wasn't her name, it was the other thing. And, well, you can imagine, I've got a rather ugly sister. <laughs> I don't tell you what happened with our Clint. <laughs> so instead, you now say Nunu. As I say to the blokes down the pub who don't fancy, Nunu says no, no. <laughs> Actually, I very rarely say that. <laughs> I have said it to Miss McFerry, though, because she's the look of a leather, don't you think? <laughs> you're not going to get very far in this profession if you're unable to use correct medical terminology. Frankly, I'm amazed. Usually you've got a mouth like a sewer. And the morals of a slut. I know. <laughs> I guess I'm just a quivering mass of contradictions, sister, if you follow me, main. Bernie, what does this mean? Slight blistering to spaniels. <laughs> it's my fault again. It was the same tea round. I have apologised. Spaniels? Spaniel's ears. You know, Babylonians. <laughs> She's a real hefty set on her as well. It's difficult not to spill stuff on them. Do you mean breasts, Bernie? Jesus, sister, the mouth on you. What are you like? <laughs> These are medical terms, Bernie, and you are a medical professional. I know. I expect you to use correct terminology and to behave in a fitting manner. After all, this is a hospital, not a playground. I will not tolerate any more of this inappropriate slang. I oh, understand, sister. Thank you for giving me a second chance, and I won't let you down again. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the high dependency ward to check on Mr. Chang's swollen ghoulies. <laughs> what? <laughs> Honest to God, you should see the size of them. One's big and bloated, the other one's small and shriveled. They look like Lauren Hardy. Bernie! <laughs> Frankly, though, that's the least of his worries. You should see the state of his rancid little cock. <laughs> Jesus. We've only five minutes till we blow it. Well, come on then. Okay. There are three other prisoners that the kidnappers are demanding to be released. The first is a man called Hamid Faran, of Jordanian descent. The second, Faisal Alarm. Now. You know, the NUM lock is on. <laughs> is it only numbers that you get? So, in preparation for next week's exam, I think it's best we do a little test on the periodic table of elements. Lauren. Lauren. Lauren! All right. <laughs> Just Lauren. All right. <laughs> What on earth do you think you're doing? You were talking to Ryan and Lise. They're my brethren, though, innit? Whilst I was speaking. So? If you've got something to say, Lauren, why don't you tell the whole class? 
I ain't chatting to this crew. Well, then, perhaps you'd better complete this little test on your own. See if you like speaking to the whole class after that. Whatever. Uh, OK, right. I'm going to point out some of these symbols on this table, and you're going to tell me what they represent. And if you don't complete this test with 100% correct answers, I'm going to put you on detention. Is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> what does ZN stand for? I think... Correct. What about CA? Calcium. What does B stand for? <laughs> what? What is B for? B is for oral. <laughs> Correct. And it now? <laughs> M-I. M-I bothered? No. <laughs> M I. Am I bothered though? No. <laughs> are you? Are you disrespecting me? <laughs> are you, Lauren? Yes, I am. Are you a geek? <laughs> Lauren, you. You is a geek though. <laughs> I am warning you. B A. But are you a geek though? No, Lauren. You are a geek though. No, I'm not. Do you dress like one though? No, I do not. Do you buy your clothes from a catalogue? No. Do you pay for them in instalments? No. Your jeans got an elasticated waist? No. Have you got a reversible fleece? <laughs> you got a reversible fleece, sir. You are a geek. No, I'm not a geek, okay? I am a science teacher. Are you Stephen Hawkins? No. <laughs> Hawkins, no. Do you wish you were Stephen Hawkins? No. When you were home, right? Mm -hmm. When you were home, right? Yes. Right? When you were home, uh -huh. did you pretend to be Stephen Hawkins? No. <laughs> you got a funny little voice box? No. Did you bowl about in a little wheelchair? <laughs> that is unacceptable. Well, stop doing it then. But, no, that's... <laughs> that is enough. Okay? You're lucky I'm one of the more reasonable teachers in this school, otherwise you would be in a lot of trouble. As it is, I'm going to give you a second chance. F. Face. No. Bother. No. Face. No. Bother. Ain't even bothered. Come Look at my face. Look at my face. Look at my face. Ain't even bothered. Look at my face. Periodic table. Ain't even bothered. Look at my face. 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 Look at my I cannot continue this lesson with you in here. I have given you plenty of warning. I would like you to collect your things and leave. And don't say another word! I'm so sorry about that, class. Now, uh, anyone else? M.G. Magnesium, will it? <laughs> the organization we're dealing with is serious and will carry out these threats. I advise you to consider option red. Good luck, gentlemen. Special Agent David Primer. Send it. I just hope we're not too late. Now, where would that have gone? <laughs> you mean that little bidden thing? Oh, it seemed to have gone. You mean it's sent? No, I mean it's gone. What? Oh, no, it's come back again. Oh, it's gone altogether now. <laughs> Did you know you can use different fonts? <laughs> Say anything. I brought you some clothes. Sorry. What for? You were right all along. I should have listened to you, but I didn't. I had a dream. The dream's over. I thought I could change the world. What was I thinking? Too much time on my pale, freckly hands. That's my problem. Sit down. <laughs> the dream's not over. Things are changing. Not from where I'm sitting. <laughs> Out there, right now, people are quite literally painting the town red. 
How do you mean? In response to the protest, gingers everywhere are coming out of their houses, hatless and proud. I can't believe us. Restrictions have been lifted in sandwich bars. Sandra, we're handling food again. <laughs> Finally, people are beginning to take us seriously. And I've just spoken to Jenny. She's in the hairdressers. And someone has just asked for Auburn highlights. The fight's over. Oh, Peter. The future's bright, Sandra. The future's <laughs> bright. <laughs> You're free to leave, Sandra. Well done. Come on, you. We're late. What for? The people who made Calendar Girls are making a movie about Gingers for Justice. There's Tonka Vula Lenska playing me. We're meeting her at 12. Oh, Rita, me head spinning. We're on our way. Rita, wait. Who's playing me? Bonnie Langford. of everything I used to be. You're my rock of empathy, my dear. So come out and let me entertain you. Morning, Martin. Morning, Georgie. How was your weekend, Pat? Oh, it was lovely, thank you. Michaela had a school diving competition. Did she sink like a stone to the bottom of the pool? <laughs> or is her childhood obesity under control? <laughs> Actually, she won first prize. Hey, I'm that pleased for you. <laughs> Can I borrow your nice solar-powered calculator? Yeah, sure. I'll tell you what it is. Me and some of the other girls down at the Jarrow Quaker Jazz Club <laughs> are doing a little sponsored event. Oh, what's this one for? We're treading water through the night in the Great North Canal. 